Star Wars Rebels is set between episode three and episode four, but we're closer to four in the, on the timeline where we start. Well, tonally, we're really leaning towards A New Hope. We've got a rebellion that is not yet organized. It's not yet the Rebel Alliance. One of the main things that our show is about, and I'm talking about it for seasons, is we're going to show how the Rebel Alliance came to be. And that is tremendously exciting. I think it's been great for the audience, but it's just, just tremendously exciting for me. I'm always been a storyteller. It's all I've ever wanted to do. You know, I'm a big geek, so you know, I've been reading comic books since before I can remember. After I graduated college, I went to work for DC Comics in New York as an editorial assistant, which is a fancy title that basically means Xerox boy, and worked my way up to associate editor. Eventually became director of series development at Walt Disney Television Animation. We started making Gargoyles, and I just fell in love with that show. Most recently, uh, I did Young Justice for Warner Brothers and DC and Cartoon Network. It's been a blessed career in that sense, just had some great properties to work on and some great people to work with, and that's just been a blast, and sort of continuing now with Star Wars Rebels. Yeah, I was 13 years old. I saw it the day it opened, but it just sort of blew my mind, and so I have a very clear memory of seeing what we now call A New Hope, but at the time was just Star Wars. Empire. Ah! I am your father. Blew my mind. I love Chewbacca. He's little John, you know, to Hans Robin Hood and something about that character that I just adore. In New Hope, when Leia kisses Luke and swings across, I mean, I think I'm a romantic at heart. Oh, that's so cool. Of course, I didn't know they were brother and sister at the time. And so in hindsight, it's maybe not as cool a moment as I thought. But. So for me, this whole thing is, is kind of a joy. There are all these moments. I mean, you get in the thick of it and you're working on stories or you're up late at night and you're typing stuff and you get tired. And, you, and But every once in a while, you know, you have this moment where you're like, oh, we're doing a lightsaber battle, you know, kind of thing. And, and it's just really cool.